praise in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for waking us up this morning again to behold your presence, standing before you to receive a word shower so that our day can go well for us. Thank you for the many souls you are reaching through this platform. Thank you for all the comments we keep hearing every day. Thank you for response that we are getting from people here and there. Thank you for all the visions you have given to us concerning the glorious morning shower. To you be all the glory. Thank you for counting us worthy. To be the one to share your word all the time. To you be all the glory, Father. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Welcome to another wonderful time with God on glorious morning shower. As usual, this is the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. The word coming your way today is to make your day end on a glorious note. God taking you from the corridor of shame to the platform of glory. That will be your portion in Jesus' name. The word for your shower today is The destiny of many is dependent on me. The destiny of many is dependent on you. It's a reminder to let you know that this life is not just your own. When you catch up with this understanding, you will begin to see the tremendous way of blessing that God will shower upon you. Why? God does not bless a man for himself alone. No. And God has brought me your way this morning on this devotional platform to remind you that many people are waiting for you so that life don't let it shortly and don't ever tell yourself i'm too old what am i going to do again at this age over 50 over 60 no god is use going to use you at the point where you are now a man realized himself at the age of 65 and the Lord kept him alive to the age of 90 and in that short that life he was able to complete every assignment that God gave him so don't say I didn't start early a prominent professor once told me that he said the day you wake up is your morning so don't ever complain it is late so today could be that morning that God is waking you up to remind you that the life you have is not your own. God kept you there for a purpose. So the destiny of many is dependent on you. So when he gives you money, be conscious of the fact that that money it is how well you use that money for the destiny of those who are perchance connected to that that guarantee the continuous flow of that resources and that is why many people who made it early and became tight hand not mindful of the fact that there are some people often widows perhaps those that are in need that god brought their way God took the money away from them. Let me give you the scripture. And I pray that you get truth from it. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 8. He said, The Lord sent a word into Jacob, and it had lighted upon Israel. A word to Jacob became the light of Israel. A word to one man sitting under a tree perhaps or taking the cattle to 
the wilderness looking for green pasture for them. And the Lord met him there. And the word God gave him became the light of entire Israel. You see? Isaiah 9, 8. A word was sent to Jacob and it became the light of Israel. So, a word God sent to you is going to be a light of generation. So, don't play with it. Don't joke with any opportunity God brings your way. He puts you in a position and you are there, you want to begin to amass wealth for yourself or you want to... You may not live long. The only thing that guarantees your long life wherever God put you is when you are conscious of the fact that the destiny of many is attached to you. Every man is connected. I told the people in the congregation as we began our free feeding every Sunday. We've been doing it this like the seventh time now and we have not stopped. Free feeding for the less privileged. And I could see poor people coming out every Sunday and say, Pastor, I'm going to give you 500 naira to add to whatever you have to feed more poor people. I'm not the one doing it. We are doing it collectively. Somebody came 100 naira. Somebody's bringing 50 naira. He said, I want to be, why are they doing that? Why? Because they want to remove their name from poverty. You see, the poor the Bible said, you will always have among you. But what you do with them among you will guarantee your long life. That is why these people in those days, Jacob, they live up to 100 years. They live beyond 100. Why? Because lives were dependent on them. So you ask yourself a question today. How many dependents do you have? When you collect your paycheck, is there any provision for the less privileged? Is there any provision for the orphan, the widows? You have to look for somebody somewhere. You must adopt a widow. You can adopt an orphan by not just bringing the orphan to your house to live with you. You can get somebody somewhere and say, I will be paying your school fees every time. How much? 7,000 naira, 10,000 naira. I want to let you know there are people outside school today because they couldn't pay 5,000 naira. And you are there collecting 100,000. And you are still praying it's not enough. Shouting is not enough. And God is telling you, when you begin to have dependent, I will bring more. So you are the one holding yourself. Say so the life you live is not your own. Galatians chapter, chapter 2 verse 20. Let's see that place. He said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet I, yet I am not of my own, but of Christ. Nevertheless that I live, the life I live now is not mine. And that is exactly what I do. This life is not mine. And as far as I'm conscious of it, I've been on the road midnight, I've been on the road daytime, I've been on the road in the morning hour, 5 a.m., 12 midnight, anytime, never a day of fear or doubt. Sometimes as I pass by, I hear they just kidnap people now. Sometimes I just pass by, I hear accident just took place where you pass now. Sometimes accidents will be happening, I'll be coming down there. At a time I was to be kidnapped with a pistol on my head, how I escaped, just God. Why? Because this life is not mine again. If you can join me on this platform to become a partner with us, this life that is not yours, the owner will guide this jealously. That is how he's guiding me jealously. One day, one of my mother in the Lord called me and said, Oh boy, you've been working so hard. I hope you pray enough before you travel. This is your journey up and down. I said, Mama, even if I don't pray enough, the number of knees 
that cry on my behalf every day are many. Who are those needs? These are the needs of widows that I have. These are the needs of orphans that I pay their school fees. These are the needs of orphans that are in our school on free education. Any day they say, God bless this man. This me. They, they, God can't afford to lose me. So what position do you occupy in God? You can make yourself God's favorite. But if you, it is you and you alone, he can afford to lose you at any time. I pray today that the work coming your way today will bring you to the consciousness of the fact that the life you live is not your own. Many are depending on you. So be careful. The Lord bless you. As you go out today, may the day be your own day. And may the Lord bless the works of your hand. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Amen.